<laughs> well everyone welcome to my messy painting area ah, I know I just you know I clean it up daily well not really I need to change out my matting area but today I'm gonna show you guys how um, to modify the torso for a journey um, like I said I don't like torsos on dolls because they are they're not cuddly because their head sits here and it's just very stiff so um i i made a journey for myself and i sold a journey and the mom requested if i could cut the torso so she could put it on and take it off for photos and i'm like hmm i'm not really sure how i would do that she just thought maybe we'd be able to um cut I don't know what she thought actually anywho oh she thought maybe we'd be able to cut at the shoulders and then just slip it over the body but it actually won't work because the body is going to be stuffed to normal and so the torso it won't fit on so Jackie and I well Jackie actually suggested that we cut the top of the shoulders and down one side so basically it opens like a book and um then she can use the torso for whatever she wants to and which I did that I did that on my torso I practiced on my torso didn't want to practice on um, somebody else's torso so here it is here's the torso for my journey and so it opens like a book so then I just slip it around the baby and it works really well I mean it stays open on this side a little bit because like I said the body is stuffed more than it would normally be stuffed had we had built the doll um, and she was wearing the torso. That's one thing when you build the dolls with torsos, they're not stuffed as you would stuff them without a torso. So it worked really well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. Um, I didn't use an X-Acto knife because the last time I used an X-Acto knife to cut a torso into two complete halves, it kind of was jagged even though it was a brand new exacto knife it's just that you can't cut in one swipe so when you cut with a knife you cut in and it just didn't cut very nice so i actually used a pair of um kitchen scissors and it cut really well so that's how we're gonna cut this baby open but yeah it's awesome and and look at the umbilical cord is magnetic in there so you guys are wondering so you can take it on it's great for photo shoots torsos are really only great for photos they're not great for keeping on your baby so first we're going to map our line out on here and I'm gonna use a white um, Prisma pencil that's what I'm gonna use I don't know why I keep looking back at the screen I haven't used my camera in a while and I seem to forget that my camera has a flipper on screen so I'm going to map back here I want to cut as far back on the shoulder as I can actually and I'm just eyeing it in hopes that it is straight it does seem to be pretty straight so I'm gonna um continue this line like if it's going you know like if I have no hole opening and I'm just gonna cut straight across so there we go I don't know if you can see that and then I'm going to take my line and I'm going to bring it down back here on the side just making keeping it as straight as I can and now we're gonna be ready to you probably can't see because it's white and it's very light but with thinner if you use a different color you can just uh, use some thinner and rub it off so these are the kitchen scissors I used last night they worked really well for me except there's some black on there Okay, so we're gonna use these. Um, like I said, I practice on my kit because I did not want to practice on someone else's kit. I would rather jack up my torso than jack up somebody else's torso. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut this shoulder first, right up top of my line. And this one, like the shoulders, you can pretty much cut in almost one cut. It's perfect. There we go. I'm going to turn back over here and I'm going to cut this one. It's always nerve wracking when you cut 
vinyl. I hate it. Okay. Very good. And now for the final piece. This one will take a little bit longer because we have um, a bigger area to cut. So I just gently, you know, cut down with the scissors. I'm in no hurry. I want to do my best to stay on top of that white line and not get a jagged line. Look at how it's cutting very nice. So definitely recommend scissors over exacto knife. And we're just cutting. Okay, we are almost almost to the final piece. Almost to the final piece. And So the little black mark got on there from my scissors. All right, all right. So that is how you modify the torso. There you go. Um, and then it's just, it's super awesome because it just fits, the baby's arm just goes right in there and it just like wraps around like a blanket almost. It's a really smart idea. So I'm really glad that the mom of this baby asked if I could do it because I would have never really thought to do it and then I would have never used my torso for my doll so now I'm actually going to use my torso to do photos with. I wasn't going to before because I was like well her body's stuffed and I don't want to take her apart to put the torso on. So yes yeah, so this is a really smart idea for those of you who uh, are interested in just using the torso for photo purposes it'll just you know it's super convenient and then this is her umbilical cord so I'll put that on there but yeah so that's it that's what the inside of a torso looks like uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful um, I thought after I cut my last one I was like you know what I'm gonna make a video to show people because I know there's a lot of people like myself who are very scared of doing stuff like this so yeah so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe make sure to share my video with all your friends make sure you guys to check out my patreon we're having lots of fun over there um and as always guys thank you so much for watching <laughs> thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to in love with reborns 2011 you know click that notification button turn on the bell don't ever miss a video like this video, share it with your friends! Did you do it? Hello?